Now, get ready for three rounds of action in the junior middleweight division. Fighting out of the red corner. You know, looking at these two the fighters the right here as they're in their the corners trip. waiting to come out, you see the difference size. He weighed in at 147 pounds, representing American Killer Bees, undefeated record of two wins and zero losses. From Tannersville, PA, Luke Perez. Now, fighting out of the blue corner, black trunks, gold trim, weighing in at 147 and one quarter pounds. Representing American top team with a record of two wins, one loss, from Fairfield, Connecticut, Aaron Pugin. All right, gentlemen. Here we go, gentlemen. We know the rules. I expect you to follow them, fight clean, fight hard, fight fair, protect yourself at all times, listen to my instruction at all times. Prevent a stoppage, go to a neutral corner until I tell you to come out. Touch him up, come out, fight. All right, gentlemen, here we go. All right, here we go. We got the two guys. They're about ready to come out. You can right away, Perkins is in the blue corner, standing in the southpaw. You can see the size difference right away, the big height difference here. Let's see if he can utilize that. Here we go. The night's begun. Got an aggressive start coming from... Luke over here. Aaron, seeing that you have a little bit of a difference in the reach here, how can we use this to his advantage? Well, what, what uh, Aaron Perkins needs to do is just what he did. Start using those push kicks. Start using that long jab to keep, keep Luke away from him, right? He's got five inches on the reach and a couple inches on that height. He needs to really utilize that just by sticking his arms and legs out there. You look at the way Aaron's holding his hands, too, when they're free. He looks like he's got a decent amount of boxing experience, real relaxed with those hands. Yeah, he was doing a really good job with that, keeping his hands up, staying relaxed. Fighters working in the clinch now. There wow, we go. Nice, nice push kick again. Nice. I got, he got the sweep. Very nice, very nice. You know, that's one of the problems with throwing that push kick up to the face. If it doesn't quite do what you want it to do, you leave yourself open to some sweeps. Good yeah. hand work coming again. From there it Luke. is. Another good push kick from Aaron. He's getting caught with a few hands. He really needs to start utilizing that long jab and that straight teep. Aaron's putting good combinations together when he does let his hands go. Definitely. Good head kick from Aaron again. Now here's that push kick I'm looking for. Oh. Oh, and that was a great, great head kick thrown by Aaron right there. Landed flush on the face of Luke Perez. Dropped him. Getting an eight count right now for it, and rightfully so. Let's go. Let's see if Luke can recover from this and come back. Yeah, I mean, he looks good right now. You know, oh, oh and he got again. it again. We got Luke Perkins. He's got a cut right under his right eye, too, from the foot of Aaron hitting him. Hitting him right solid in that face, but... Aaron's really relaxed. He's yeah. letting that let go. Yeah, end of the round. That's yeah, Aaron's definitely very confident coming out in the second round, no doubt. Showing respect, touching gloves, and back at it. There he's looking for that head kick again. He needs to keep on that jab. Keep that, keep that jab up. Keep shooting them push kicks out there. Set that head kick up. There, now Aaron, Aaron's throwing those long hands. Aaron's looking for that head kick, but he's missing still. He needs to just sit a little bit more down, set oh, those hands up. Might have gone a little low on that one. Not enough to stop the action, though. Yeah, when you're, when you're fighting a southpaw, that happens sometimes. You know, guys get a little wild in those fights. And Luke, honestly, he's looking. He needs to make up some points for this round. And he's definitely getting aggressive and working on it. You know, he's in that corner. He needs to stay in this range. He's a shorter fighter. Stay in this range. Work those thigh, work those knees a little bit. He needs, yeah. He's just pushing him into the ropes right now. Right now, he needs to really be hitting those knees, getting those points. Yeah, you know, it he's is throwing, Muay Thai, too. You can't box in this. You really have to work while in the clinch. Correct, correct. You, got, you, you know, the hands aren't accounting for a whole lot of points on it unless they're really hurting an opponent. Um, and in the clinch, 
the clinch is not the place to be punching. Oh, just missed with that high kick again. Aaron's really looking to go for the kill here. Yeah, he's looking for it. And in the clinch where Luke should be doing a lot of work, Aaron's really doing a real good job at landing some solid knees, whereas Luke's just maybe trying to elbow a thigh, try to punch a rib or something. Even though Luke is pressing forward, who do you think is scoring the most points at this point? At, at this point, I'm, I'm thinking that Aaron is scoring the more points just because he's landing the more effective shots. In the clinch, Luke is pushing into the clinch, but he's just basically holding on, whereas Aaron Perkins, he was hitting the more effective knee, lifting Luke up off the ground. Let's like see what round three does for these guys. Round three, I'm looking at this as Luke has got to get the knockout to win this fight. Yeah, I agree with you 100%, Brian. There you go, Aaron utilizing that long teep again. If it's working, might as well keep using it. Oh, there he goes, Aaron. Good, good. Again, again, they're in the clinch, and Luke is just, he's hammering away with a fist where Aaron started hitting some really solid knees. Sometimes it doesn't pay to get so fancy. You don't want to spin no. and give that away. Well, those knees, in the clinch, those knees, those are scoring solid points. And they're, they're damaging. Those knees will take its toll. They'll hurt. He's lifting them up. He's hitting with knees and lifting them in the air with the knees. Whereas Luke is just, he's punching the body. That's not really doing a whole lot of damage. Really good effective clinch work by Aaron. Had good distance. And there's that right head kick, kick again, again from Aaron. Luke's got to get that right hand up and defend. Yeah. Again, in the clinch, Luke's punching the thighs. He needs to be working those knees. Aaron's hitting those solid knees again. It's not often that you see a punch to the thigh ending a fight. Luke's no. really got to get busy working <laughs> for the knockout here. Yeah, I'm not sure if I've ever seen a punch to the thigh in a fight. So a knee to the chin there. I don't know necessarily if that was legal, but that happens. Yeah. Oh, the oh, high kick. Oh, and Aaron's working a solid game with those high kicks. Hit a solid high kick. And Luke is a little bit loopy right now. You well, can see it in his attack. He's not 100%. Aaron really scored with that uppercut inside, too. I yeah. don't know how much more damage Luke is going to be allowed to take. Yeah, Luke, Luke is holding on right now. If I was Aaron, I, I would be really pressing the action on this fight. Luke is tired. He lacks a lot of pop on those kicks and punches. Aaron just needs to press this fight, and he could end it. And that's the end of the third round. Aaron Perkins controlled most of the rounds from where we're looking at it. Now we're thrown into the ring so we can get the judge's decision. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action in the junior middleweight division, we have a winner. By unanimous decision, representing Fairfield, Connecticut, Aaron Perkins.